Good afternoon, dear professors, distinguished scholars, our teachers, and students of master's degree. Uh, my dissertation work was the theme of the development and research of asynchronous generators in mini hydro uh, power plants for farms. My scientific supervisor is Ismailov Astan Ibrahimovic, who is associate professor. Uh, we have divided uh, our, uh, our dissertation work into three parts. Firstly, uh, we need to give introduction. And first chapter is problems, uh, perspectives, and features of the electricity uh, sector on the basis of non-traditional renewable sources of energy. Second chapter, micro and small hydro uh, power plants. And uh, each chip, uh, cha in each chapter, we gave conclusions. In third chapter, uh, we named it uh, mini and micro hydroelectrical uh, and power plants on the basis of asynchronous generators. And, uh, and, and we gave uh, the chapter of ecology and environmental protection. And finally, we gave a final conclusion and we gave references and applications too. Okay, firstly, we need to give uh, an abstract of this dissertation. In this dissertation, uh, given the statistical information on the study of mini HPPs, uh, we uh, call it is shortage of uh, hydro power plants in Uzbekistan and their prospects and uh, their existing construction and principle of operating and the future of using asynchronous generators in them. And the problems of using asynchronous generators as an electric, electric source of micro HPP and mini HPPs and disadvantages and advantages of using asynchronous generators. And at the same time, there are data on the issues of ecology and environmental protection and which are uh, a pressing problem for the present time. And, uh, and on the non-negative impact of illuminated asynchronous generator of the ecology of the environment of microbes on this topic. And firstly, we need to give uh, relevance of this work. And uh, if, if we know this is the important far part of our dissertation work. By this way, we can illuminate what is dissertation about. And that's why we need to uh, put emphasis on uh, the country which we live in. We need to uh, evaluate our climate. We need to uh, give calculations which can be, uh, which can useful contribution to development of our country. And uh, secondly, we need to find purpose of the work. Purpose of the work is, uh, is to use the uh, asynchronous generators as a source of electrical energy in mini and micro hydroelectric power, power plants. And we gave first uh, four, four main tasks to achieve this goal. And uh, firstly, we need to give analysis of the current state of the study of asynchronous generators of mini and micro, micro hydroelectric power plants. And we give uh, about uh, operation of asynchronous, asynchronous generators in micro uh, hydroelectric power plants. And uh, we give statistical data on the results of re regulating the parameters of mi uh, mi micro hydroelectric power plants. And we give results of micro HPP modeling. And the object of research is asynchronous generator. The subject of the study is the operating mo modes of uh, AG, mini and micro power plants. And we have used a variety of research methods. And uh, reliability of the results, the res reliability of the results obtained from conclusions and the recommendations made and the calculation performed are confirmed by the result of statistical data and of asynchronous generator. Okay, practical value. Uh, this is recommendations for the use of AG in the composition of mini and micro hydroelectric power plants and are given and uh, uh, approbation of the work 
uh, it was uh, reported and discussed in the Rep Republic Scientific Pro uh, Practical Conference in Fan Tarakotodage Yosh Learning on in Andijan 2020. And uh, I gave speech speech about my dissertation work and uh, I have published it with my supervisor 10 reports. Okay, and uh, what is the main point of our dis uh, dissertation work? It's a um, micro hydroelectric power station. It's a renewable source of virtually free energy. And uh, the principle of operation is as follows. Firstly, water under uh, pressure enters the blades of hydro turbines and it, um, it forces to cycle generator and uh, when it cycles, we can uh, generate electricity. And uh, this is the main process of our dissertation work and we have to pay attention to main sites of uh, speed and uh, height of this water. Where is it situated? It doesn't matter. We have to uh, calculate every nuance to uh, to be uh, a, a perfect model for our dissertation work. And uh, we, as we can see, uh, mic micro hydroelectric power plants are installed in maintenance or remote areas of Uzbekistan, uh, in villages, small farms, industrial farms, cottle, uh, cottage settlements, and other facilities. There are no uh, power transmission lines. It means when uh, when people who are live far from uh, our country, where uh, in suburbs, in countryside, uh, they they are from they are far from electrical energy, and when they use that kind of uh, micro hydroelectric power plants, uh, they can use for their own purposes, and we can um, be more environmentally friendly too. And in this first picture, we can see that ideal place for micro hydro power plants. Uh, uh, as you can see, in maintenance area, we can see that uh, we can uh, water is flowing in high speed, and uh, and at that place, we can see that uh, we uh, we can. Uh, organize our uh, our hydro turbines and by this way we can uh, generate electricity in high speed and uh, maybe there can be some obstacles by calculation we can overcome them okay taking deeply of benefits of micro hpps uh, electricity, electricity generation comes from a renewable source. Uh, as we know, water is unlimited, and uh, this is non-traditional type of energy. And what is important, it's more stable than uh, wind and sunlight, and proximity to the, uh, the end to user, and energy losses uh, for transportation are minim minimal or absent, and low cost, and uh, this is uh, main benefits of our dissertation work. Drawbacks of small hydroelectric uh, power plants, the beds of small rivers, and uh, streams often dry up in summer and freeze in winter. And the performance of mini hydroelectric power plants is related to the water pressure and its amount. And uh, what is important, uh, it become, um, it can become um, like, uh, it doesn't become not cheap when we um, don't pay attention to um, uh, like uh, re reconstruction of uh, this, uh, this type of stations. And when we use not all year round, uh, it can be expensive too. So that's why we have to pay attention to economical side of our dissertation work too. And this is general view of mini HPP. This is uh, hydro uh, turbines. And uh, by this way, we can, uh, uh, as I already mentioned, this is main generator. And this is mini HPP. It means it's, uh, it's from uh, 50 kilowatt. And uh, hydro generators is main part of uh, hydro power plants. 
Uh, it designed to convert mechanical energy to electrical energy at small hydroelectric power plants. Alternating current machines had become widespread as generators, and the synchronous uh, machines are spread uh, because they uh, they are um, they are using are um, maybe expensive, but they are more stable than synchronous generators. But when we uh, pay attention to weight. Uh, Asynchronous generators are only 420 kilogram, and uh, when we uh, produce 1.5 kilowatt on transportation transportable HPP, the mass of the power unit can be only 50 kilogram, but in synchronous generators it can be uh, 500 kilogram. That is uh, really disadvantage of synchronous generator, and. Uh, uh, in this table, we can see that um, benefits and drawbacks um, synchronous generators with a clo uh, closed loop rotor and synchronous generator. And we can see that benefits of a synchronous generator is much more, much more than uh, synchronous generator. We can see that um, it, it's easy to operate low cost, small fluctuation in the generated power. It can be used without a GIR unit, good weight and size indicators, high efficiency, and the ability to adjust the voltage and frequency in a wide range. Uh, if we pay attention to drawbacks, it's an autonomous source of reactive power is required and distorted shape of the output voltage and factory dynamic properties. And, uh, uh, synchronous generator is reli reliable, and this is main uh, advantage of synchronous generator. And it's easy to design, and its maintenance is uh, much more comfortable than a synchronous generator. And this is uh, really ease for operation, and it's uh, autonomous, and it's low heating. And but uh, the main uh, drawback of uh, synchronous generator is high cost and additional power losses on the rectifier and inventor. And we can see that uh, appearance of generators in mini HPP, and uh, we can see that in synchronous generator, we, uh, we need a winding in the anchor. But in asynchronous generator, we uh, don't need uh, wind, winding in the anchor. Okay, in this, Part of our dissertation work, we put emphasis on economical side of our dissertation work. This is comparative calculation of the efficiency of diesel power station and micro HPP. Uh, we call that uh, hydroelectric power plants. In the uh, first uh, option, uh, we calculated that one kilowatt hour of generated electricity is uh, zero zero. Uh, 12 USD, uh, USD kilowatt hour. It means only one, uh, 1.2 cents per kilowatt hour. And in the second option, we can see that uh, it was uh, it was uh, HPP 50, and uh, but second time it was it wasn't expensive only 1.2 cents per kilowatt hour too. And uh, it's equal when you use uh, HPP 10 and HPP uh, 50, uh, the, the amount of money you spend on electricity is equal. But in the third option, we can see that diesel fuel power for generating one kilowatt hour uh, of electricity in G D is, uh, we can see that it is 6.6 .6 cent per kilowatt hour. The calculation shows the direct full costs when using DC generate one kilowatt hour. Electricity is much more uh, expensive. It means it costs uh, a leg and the arm. And uh, the cost of electricity when used using micro hydroelectric power plants is 5.5 times lower than when using diesel, um, diesel uh, diesel type of stations. And uh, in this presentation, we can see our project of micro HPP. 
near to Institute of Agriculture and Agrotechnology. Uh, we ha worked hard on this project and uh, right now we are choosing generator for this project and uh, uh, we are on the verge of finishing this project. I think by uh, with the help of our country we can um, construct our power station easily and I think in the future we can demonstrate our work with this project. Okay, about conclu conclusions, we can see that uh, I came to three conclusions. Firstly, uh, micro hydroelectric power plants are especially promising for consumers who are far from power supply in addition, the economic efficiency of micro hydroelectric power plants is significantly better and it has its own number of advantages and disadvantages of schemes of application of asynchronous generators in mini HPP, so no scheme can be called universal. For agricultural and household customers, an automatic control system for the ACG out, uh, output parameters based on the controlled thruster of micro HPC can be used since it's simple and reliable to operate and has a low cost. Uh, it means we have number of disadvantages and advantages by, uh, but I think we can uh, use them for our purposes. Thank you for your attention.